Hello and welcome. Thanks for popping into my channel. If you are new here, please like and subscribe for me. If you find this content helpful, smash that notification bell so that you don't miss out on the next video. Comment below with anything that you need help with or topics you'd like me to cover and check out my website, consultingninja.tech. With that out of the way, let's get to it. We are looking at some more SvelteKit today. If you are brand new to SvelteKit, I have a beginner video that does kind of a very brief walkthrough as to what SvelteKit is and how to use it. But this video, we're going to be digging in a little bit more detail into the layouts that SvelteKit uses. If you are not familiar with how the folder hierarchy works in SvelteKit, the way it works is this. You have a routes folder it, directly inside of here, there is a plus page.svelte. That's your home page. There is an optional plus layout.svelte. And in a previous video, I showed how to use that layout to uh, render a nav bar to every page that your application has. Any paths, any routes, any pages beyond the home page, you create a folder and then inside of there you have another plus page.svelte and optional plus layout.svelte. I want to show you guys some stuff that you can do with those layouts. So I took the previous example and I've started adding some more pages and then adding in some things that we can do with those layouts. In the home page directory which is the base routes folder we have this plus page and all that's in this file is an h1 and a paragraph tag and then in the home layout plus layout.svelte file i've added some additional stuff here so what i've done is i've taken the i've left the nav bar in and then i've added in this if block and what we're looking at here is SvelteKit adds um, some standard stores to their applications in SvelteKit. And one of them is this dollar sign app. And inside of there is a whole bunch of stuff that's cool. Definitely check it out. I'm not going to get into that just now. I, I'm only pointing it out that I'm pulling the page from there. And this page is a store that contains all kinds of information about what URL we are at, what our hash is, and also what our path name is. What I'm doing here is I'm looking to see if the path name is slash about, and if it is, I'm gonna render this other div and slot. Otherwise, I'm going to render the default slot here and have a different container, and then just some different styles for those two. What this is going to do is any page that is not slash about it's going to render inside of this div in this slot and if it is the about page it's going to render in this one and let's take a look at what that looks like so here we have the home page and then if i click about it takes us to the slash about path uh, and so the conditional rendering inside the home page layout the base layout kicks in it moves the content for the about page over to the right that's all i'm doing but this is one way that you can use this these layouts right you can use them to set up your content in different ways now i'm doing th that positional changing inside of the home layout let's take a look at what this might entail if we were to do this another way inside of a layout inside that route so i've also created this learn page and on the learn page, all that's in the actual uh, plus page dot spelt is I am all the actual content for this page. It's a one paragraph, that's it. And then inside of the layout for there, what's being rendered here is a div with a class of container. And then inside of that container, we have three other divs. So we have a div that contains a heading, a div that contains some subheading for that for that learn page and then we have a third div that has the slot and so what is happening here is that it is grabbing this layout and rendering this and then grabbing the page and stuffing it inside here so this is another way to use a layout to position your content how you want for that particular area of your website and what it ends up looking like is this so we have the heading, the, this little snippet here, and then this subheading. 
These are all actually coming from the layout and then the actual content for the learn page uh, I have it off centered here just to, just to show that you can do that kind of stuff. And then this is where you would put that. So what this allows you to do is really get creative in how you customize your website. You can have uh, changes inside of your base layout and then you can nest these. So this learn page, you'll also notice I didn't have the nav bar in that uh, plus page dot svelte here. So the home layout plus layout dot svelte that is where the navigation bar is coming in. And then the learn layout is adding in all of those default headings and subheadings, and then giving us some more styling for that page, and then rendering out the content in the location that we want. So you can nest these layouts together, and you can do this as, as deeply as you'd like. There's also other things that you can do with these layouts, such as um, render options. Uh, you can add those in to your script to say, you know, I do want this page rendered on the server. I don't want this page rendered on the server. I want this pre-rendered. I don't want this pre-rendered. There's some other options that you can export in these layouts as well. Let's say you wanted your one page to be rendered on the server, but another page you didn't. Uh, you can easily do that by just adding a nested layout and then resetting that property. I wanted to get stick to the basic functionality though of how to use these for what they're primarily designed for, and that is laying out the structure, the content for your website in, diff in varying ways. And here we have a few examples of how to do that. You can make these sort of modifications inside of your base layout. You also can add names to your slots. Uh, I'll link to a video where I go through uh, all the different things that you can do with slots. Um, so we'll keep that separate. I'll let you guys pair that together. But you can do this sort of thing where you have conditional ifs and, and whatnot in your layout file. And then you also can nest these so you can do you know some stuff inside of your base layout and then inside of the layout specific to that page you can do some more stuff. You could add additional criteria inside of the layout.svelte for that specific page and do something opposite that the base layout does or just lay it, layer it on top, whatever you need to do. So I want to show you inside of the about folder, what we have in here, you'll see that there is no layout at all. There is no plus, plus layout.svelte file for the about page. All we have is an H1 that just says all about Consulting Ninja. So all of the changes that you see from the home page to the about page, where it moves over and, and, and uh, readjusts itself, all, that is coming from the base layout dots felt if you wanted to add additional stuff in here similar to how we added in the generic heading for the learn page and then we had the content the, the specific content coming from the uh, plus page dots felt you can do something similar here and so let's let's do that let's add an h1 and just say i am the default header for about and then save that and you can see now that same sort of setup where we have like a default header and then some other stuff for the about page we can accomplish the same thing just with using a different setup we have no layout directly inside of the about page folder we just have the content saying all about consulting ninja and then we're actually making those modifications to the about page inside of the base layout.svelte file. So this is just some cool stuff that you can do with layouts and some different ways that you can achieve the same thing. You have lots of different options with Svelte Kit. All right, so I hope that this video has been helpful for you guys. If you found it helpful, please like and subscribe for me. Hit that notification bell, and as always, have a great day. Mm -hmm.